Hi, it's Glenn from Alder Spring here, and I'm here on the ranch, and it's a Friday morning, and it's a little bit chilly. It's in the high 40s, and I'm here in a sandfoin stand. Um, sandfoin is a uh, relative, it's a member of the pea family, and it's a relative of peas. Um, it's got beautiful little flowers you saw in a previous part of this video. Some of the beauty of it, and it can grow up to five feet high. We plant some of it here on Alder Spring to mix up our stands a little bit um, with our native grass. Here in the ranch, we just like to keep a diversity of forage in front of our animals, and uh, a diversity of forage that gets both eaten directly by the animal and also stored as hay for uh, for winter feed. There you can see one of these cool little plants here. The Latin name for this is Anobricus. Um, which means devoured by donkeys. And that kind of speaks to its past coming from um, Eurasia. Um, most of the plants that we call sandfoin here in the U.S. probably originated in places like Iran and Iraq, um, Afghanistan, um, up in the uh, Caucasus area. That's where there's a ton of sandfoins. There's also some tropical ones. But this is the one we like to have, the one devoured by donkeys. Sandfoin is actually an ancient French word, sane foin, which stands for healthy hay. Um, the words aren't really used anymore in France. They use other words to describe this plant. But this is the word we've adopted, and uh, it's got its distinctive compound leaves. And we recognize it that way, but the kettle, the bees recognize it by its extraordinarily good flavor. It's a very sweet forage. And when I taste it, I can taste quite a bit of sugar in there, especially in the flour. And that's why they like it. Sometimes these stands get up to five feet high. They'll get um, diameters on them, like that of my thumb. But the forage is still good raised from these plants and uh, the animals, even in the wintertime, will devour that that dried hay even with those big thumb size diameter stems all the way down to the ground. It's a pretty cool plant but there's some cooler things about it that I really like. One is it doesn't allow animals to bloat. They can graze this all day and they can graze it on an empty stomach and unlike a lot of other, other legume forage like alfalfa those can provide a lot of difficulties and they have a chemical reaction when they hit an animal's gut as a pure forage going in there um, they can cause a heavy-duty foam like foam rubber like layer across the top of the gut that locks in gas and uh, just like you and I like to burp after a meal cattle do too in fact they have to and uh, what happens is they blow and they get a lot of pressure in their stomach and eventually pressurizes their diaphragm in reverse and they asphyxiate very dangerous thing, so we have to manage alfalfa stands very carefully here. We don't have any really pure alfalfa stands that cause many problems, but sometimes we have to pay attention. But the cool thing about sandfoin is you never have to pay attention. You can just turn them out on it in any life stage, and they do very well on it, and they really like it. They'll actually select for it over other plants. But the best thing about sandfoin is the fact that it's not a GMO plant. And that's why when we're trying to do some restorative work and get our stand diversity back and stand health back, we'll introduce sandfoin. Because alfalfa, unfortunately, is GMO now. And uh, even though we've bought non-GMO seed, uh, there's this infection problem where pollen from GMO stands that our neighbors may have can infect our stands, especially if we let them go to seed. Sandfoin is not a problem because it's not ge genetically modified in any way and uh, as a result it's a win-win situation for us because we have a feed that the animals like and that they won't bloat on and uh, that we like because it's easy to manage and stands last up to 35 years unlike alfalfa gets replanted every about five years so anyway that's a little secret about sandfoin and I uh, just appreciate your time listening.
kind of catching up on what's happening on the ranch. And you have a great day and happy trails.